Hey there friends, Darren here. Did you know that you could make an app for your phone? Technology is always progressing and there's this new tool called Thunkable that gives you the capability to make an awesome app for your iOS or Android device. You know, it's a beautiful day outside. I'm out here and I wanted to share with you in five minutes how you can get started with Thunkable. So let's jump into the tutorial. So, are you curious what Thunkable is? Today we're going to chat about what Thunkable is, I'm going to show you how it works, and if you wait till the end, I will tell you how you can get started. And by the end of the video, you will know what Thunkable is and how to get started. So let's first chat about Thunkable's mission. Thunkable's mission is to enable everyone to build their own beautiful and powerful mobile apps. So Thunkable is a tool, it's a mobile app builder. It is a tool for you to create your own apps. And historically, if you wanted to make an app, you would need to learn some code and uh, get a team and have to decide, am I going to make an iOS app or an Android app or some other kind of app? Well, what Thunkable does is it allows you to make one app, but that app works on both iOS and Android devices. So Thunkable is a mobile app builder that allows you to make an app for both iOS and Android. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that over 500,000 users have built more than 1 million apps with Thunkable? That staggered me when I first read it. So how does Thunkable work? Thunkable uses a technique called block coding or block programming. And basically this is a drag and drop approach to programming that uses chunks of code instead of writing code out uh, letter by letter and line by line. And here is an example of what block coding looks like. So you see here we have a win button one click block and a navigate to screen block. And then you can select the elements that you want to move to within that. And this is a small example, but let's look at a larger one. Here's an app that I have worked on. Here's all the blocks that support it. And you can see that this can get somewhat complex, but when you break it down into the pieces, it is pretty simple. And this is the code side of it. But if we go to the design tab, this is what the screen looks like. So this is what the user would see whenever they're playing my maze game. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, isn't block coding uh, just kind of uh, too simple or would anyone really use that? Well, I saw online how UC Berkeley and many other top tier universities are using block programming to teach coding in college. And they do this because a lot of first time coders have trouble with typos and syntax and things like that. So block coding is very powerful even at the university level. So what do you think? Do you want to get started with Thunkable? Well, I've made two videos to show you how to get started. The first one is to create your account and the second one is to download the Thunkable Live app and then start playing with other people's apps that they've already created to get ideas. I'll link those in the description below. And if you're interested in learning even more, I would invite you to subscribe to this channel, the Thunkable X Tutorials YouTube channel where I am teaching you clear and concise tutorials on how to make your own apps with Thunkable. So do you have an idea for an awesome app? Don't wait to get started tomorrow. Get started today. I am Darren with Thunkable X Tutorials. Thanks for watching.